Hey everyone, this is Ryan Yaka with Key Factor, and today we're going to talk about certificate management and also secrets management with HashiCorp Vault. So as a quick overview of HashiCorp Vault, the why, reasons why developers and engineering teams are loving it so much is because its ability to store and issue dynamic secrets at a rapid pace in their DevOps environment. So anytime we talk about secrets, it's usually revolving around things like passwords and tokens and uh, DB credentials, things like that, but they also involve uh, X509 certificates or digital certificates. Um, so that kind of complicates a little bit things because that involves a root of trust that needs to be established for those certificates. So the way this works is uh, Vault actually has an onboard uh, PKI secrets engine that comes with it, right? And the way this works is if I'm a developer and let's say I'm uh, building a container or using containers rather, let's say with like Kubernetes or I'm interacting with a web application, right? Doing that. All of these different things, microservices, all these different things involve a TLS encryption, right? So what I'm gonna to need to do is every time that I'm interacting with these, I'm going to need to issue what's called a CSR, which is a certificate signing request. And then Vault is gonna pass back that X509 and certificate at a rapid pace and in and also in a dynamic fashion. So this is great for developers. They love this stuff, right? Because they can get it at a super high volume and they can keep moving in their uh, in their containerization and multi-cloud world that they live in, right? Um, the other thing they love about it too is this whole CSR process used to be manual when it involved the security team, but now it's, it's automatic. It happens in an immediate fashion, right? Um, the, the, the things that we see and we hear from customers then is though, since I'm issuing all these certificates, right, the security teams are, start, are going to start asking questions around where are all these certificates that are being issued out into my production environment? Uh, who issued these certificates? Where did it come from? Um, what's the expiration on those certificates, even if they're short-lived? All these things that are coming out around certificates, the security team is gonna to need to know that. And it comes back to uh, two areas where they're really concerned about, which is the visibility of those certificates, but also being able to trust those certificates have been issued from a root of trust. So the way uh, Key Factor comes in and solves that is actually uh, to take in what we have called the our uh, uh, secrets engine that we actually replace the onboard PKI uh, secrets engine that AshCorp is. So. What's great about this engine is that we can replace this and not interrupt anything that goes on with development. This is a big thing because what development doesn't want to do, right, is they don't want to have to change anything on their configuration on the client side, right? So none of this has to happen because what we're able to do is when we deploy an invisible PKI engine, what this allows you to do is use the same commands and use the same API, the same interface that you're using uh, with that PKI secrets engine, we use that same thing. So actually, when a developer asks for a CSR, right, um, they're not gonna need to even need to know that this is all communicating with the PKI backend of Key Factor. Right? So with Key Factor, we're gonna get all this comes through, the CSR comes through, right? Then we're able to establish that X509 back to the development team immediately, no issues there, no lag time at all. And what you're able to be getting in here is, again, we talked about reporting. Security team is gonna be happy with all the different things going on here. More policy control, because they can establish a PKI practices. And then what they're also able to do is connect this with a root of trust, whether it's a uh, public CA, right? It could be, a, could be a private CA, right, as well, whether it's uh, Microsoft public CA, something like DigiCert. But also what we have is, a PKI as a service. So security teams and development teams, if this PKI part of your business is something that's very complex, and as we know as experts in PKI, it is complex. If you need to switch to more of a PKI as a service model, we can actually take this and take away all the headache that goes on with all the processes involved with PKI. So you're not having to deal with any of that um, on the security side, but also the dev side. So uh, that really makes us stand out in that space, being able to provide a PKI as a service where no other competitor really uh, 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 offers that in our space. 
And we're also able to scale at the speed of the certificates that are being issued, right? So we talked about these short-lived certificates that are being issued from, uh, from Hashi. That takes up, uh, it's gonna be an extreme amount of volume that happens there. You're gonna need a system that scales with that. We're able to scale across you know, 550 million certificates plus in these types of complex environments. So that's at a high level, kind of how we you know, go from scary basically questioning and not knowing what's going on in an organization to see, being okay with it, and also how to keep dev moving as fast as they can without interrupting them. So uh, thanks for watching this video and we'll hope to talk to you more about Hashi and Key Factor later on.